Yeah, big round of applause, Mel. Mel Schofield. Fantastic. So for those who came in late, I'm Zelda. I'm with the Stop Adani campaign here in Cairns. I think we've all got a lot of feelings in us at the moment. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So uh, after watching that, it's my job now to talk about what are we going to do. All right, so we know we want to stop Adani. And uh, we're going to be wondering, well, how? How are we going to do that? And before I get into exactly how, I want to talk a little bit about our feelings after watching that, we've got a big fight ahead of us and we know we have to win it. We have to win this one. It's, it's not just Adani. It's all the other coal mines they might build in the Galilee. It's the fact that we've got a transition to renewables right now. It's, it's for the Wanganjagalingu people. It's for the, um, the Yidinji people here. It's for First Nations people all around the world. It's for all of us all around the world to have a safe climate to live in. And it's frightening. You know, it's a frightening prospect. And I think watching that film, there were moments when you really felt that fear and you felt the grief. So I want us to now just, in your seats, have a look around and look at the people around you. I want you to say hi to everyone who's around you. Make eye contact. Say good day. You know, we need everyone in this fight. We need all of your passions to come in. I want to talk a bit about feelings. As I said, I want to talk about some of the hard feelings we have, some of the negative feelings we have. Because um, negative feelings these days have a bit of a bad rap. Can we still parliament, mate? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So capitalism has really fostered uh, positive thinking. The idea that we all have to think positive, we all have to be positive all of the time. And it's great to be positive in your personal life. But when it comes to social change, what positive thinking does is it allows the status quo to remain. It's our negative feelings that bring social change. So I want you to take a minute again to look around at each other and allow yourself to feel the grief of watching our Great Barrier Reef suffer the way it has suffered in the last two years. So looking at each other now and actually let yourself feel how painful it is to see the Great Barrier Reef suffer like this. And just take a minute now to let yourself feel how frightening it is. We're already at one degree of global warming. It's really scary. You know, we're looking at catastrophic global warming if we don't change track, if we don't get off this economic system of constantly extracting and exploiting. Like that young fella said in the movie, six million, six billion, six billion out of seven billion people will die. And we know what kind of civil conflict is going to come with that. It's going to be horrific. We need to feel that fear. Because fear is what prompts us to action. Fear is a survival mechanism. When you've got a runaway train coming at you, fear is what makes you jump off the track. Well, climate change is a runaway train. And planet Earth is the track that it's on. We can't jump off the track. We're going to have to derail the train. So now that we're safe in the warm embrace of the climate movement here, and you can feel that fear, let that fear motivate you. Let your anger motivate you, because you've got a right to be angry. Our anger is justifiable. Right? We're angry that they're giving a billion dollars to a foreign billionaire. We're angry that they're stepping on land rights left, right and centre. We're angry that they're trying to kill the spirit that that lives in the song lines of the Great Artesian Basin. We're not going to let that happen. So anger is a good force. Anger is the what is... Anger causes social change everywhere in the world. 
That's what gets people to rise up and change things. So don't be scared when you feel angry. Let that move you. I'm going to talk about the how. And I'm going to ask, I'm also going to let you know you're not alone. There's 100, 200 of us in here. And I'm going to ask the people who are part of the Stop Adani campaign now to stand up and let other people see you. These are the people you're going to be working with. We've got Carmel here. We've got Annie. We've got Jaffe, Edith. We've got Carmel, another Carmel. We've got Phil. We've got Raina, Margie from Friends of the Earth up there. We've got... Beverly, we've got Jackie up the back, we've got Carla here. We're all from Stop Adani. We've got uh, people here from the Sun Powered Queensland campaign. Stand up, Sun Powered Queensland, let us see you. So we're going to go renewable. Uh, we've got Jim Brooks, Fiona, Ryan over here. And we've also got David from Australian Marine Conservation Society. David's also an ally in the Stop Adani Alliance. And of course, we've got our esteemed Indigenous elders here who've been looking after the reef all this time. So we're all part of the Stop Adani campaign. And uh, Rob, I won't ask Rob to stand up. Rob's going to come up the front of the panel in a minute. So I'm going to quickly talk about the how we're going to Stop Adani. First thing for you guys to do, if you haven't already done it, is sign up to the Stop Adani Action Group. There's one in Douglas Shire and there's one here in Cairns. You can go to stopadani.com, click the join, put in your postcode and it will come up with the Stop Adani action group that's closest to you. Once you're on that list, you'll get information about all the actions we've got planned. There's three pillars to the Stop Adani campaign. All right, there's build the movement, stop the money and shift the politics. So I know folks don't have a, a pen and paper probably in their hands, but there's little flyers on the Stop Adani table out front that have got all those dates on them. The next thing coming up is we've got training sessions on to help you build the movement and stop the money and shift the politics. That's this Saturday. Um, it's hosted, co-hosted by Kafnik. Are Kafnik here? We got, yeah, Bess. Please stand up, Bess. So Beth from Kafnik and David from Australian Marine Conservation Society are co-hosts of the Stop Adani training session. That's this Saturday. Um, you can also register for that online. And there's a repeat session of that on the Wednesday night for those who couldn't make it. On, March, on May the 6th, we're having a meeting to look at how we're going to stop Westpac from funding Adani. Because the week after that, 5th to the 13th of May, is the week of action on Westpac. It's part of a global mobilisation on uh, divestment. And yeah, hold up the Westpac signs, Westpac Stop Adani. There are a few of those signs in the house. Yay. So again, this is the crew you'll be working with. We'll be going down to Westpac and we'll be saying, Westpac, no funding Adani. We're not having it. Uh, the other thing you can do is contact your MPs. Now, we're lucky in Cairns, we have an MP who has already opposed Adani. Yeah. We have Rob Pine, who has already opposed Adani. Yeah. The Greens are also opposed to Adani. If your candidate of choice is not opposed to Adani, call them up and ask them why. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to be hosting, um, we're going to be training in, on Saturday people to go and form delegations to go to our local MPs, to go to Crawford, to go to Curtis Pitt, to go to Billy Gordon, to go to Warren Inch and say, why aren't you opposing Adani? So we can be part of that. There's also a bunch of postcards on the um, Stop Adani table out the front addressed to those MPs. Grab yourself a postcard, you can, we've even bought stamps for you. Grab yourself a postcard, send that off to your MP. Let them know we're not having this. It's not going to happen. So lots of dates there. They're all on the little flyer that's out the front. The big one is on May the 9th. There's going to be a Stop Adani meeting. We're looking at how we're going to build this movement and take it forward. And that's at Komonos House. If you don't know where it is, all these things will be on the Stop Adani Cairns Facebook page. So if you haven't already liked that page, get on it and like it. Get on the stopadani.com website. Join our local group. And I'm going to now take you to our panel. Uh, we have Marvellous Nell is going to facilitate the panel. And we have special guests. Rob Pine is coming on to talk with us. Uh, Jim Brooks. You can jump on up, Jim. 
um, Narelle Nickel, and Dr. Dean Miller. Cool. So please welcome them up. Nell, I'll give you the mic.